Okay, it's on. <laughs> it's on. Ooh. Yeah. Ada, we're live. We are live. We're live. Where is the microphone? <laughs> bon, nous voilà donc avec Michael qui est très content de parler allemand à, à, aux gens de, qui font le documentaire. Et on va lui poser avec Don les premières questions. You start. Oh, I start now. So, yeah. welcome to uh, Kingston Beach, Tasmania, uh, Michael. <laughs> Good to see you. I know it was a bit of a challenge. You uh, sat there parked for 36 hours or something with nothing, and and now you've had 36 nights. Tell us, tell us what what it was like coming into here first. Well, uh, a bit crazy because uh, there is one light, and that it's only that's only like a range of 10 miles. Yeah, but it's like. 25 up the base, so we go like more than half without any without any orientation kind of yeah uh, so that was kind of weird but I, I knew this and I, I set the course in the middle of the base so I have lots of space on either side and, and, and lots yeah. of, of space for your uh, so it was good uh, yeah. it's beautiful it's all, all these southern countries are very beautiful from the coastline if you approach with boat it's really great <laughs> You look good, but the boat looks fantastic. <laughs> she's she's doing well, eh? Yeah, she does. Yeah. Yeah. So except no, the engine, uh, I started it five times. Three times it didn't work. Uh oh. <laughs> and then it started. <laughs> well, it started. It's, uh, I repaired it every time, but this time I think I have uh, I have water in the tank. It's yeah. all milky. Yeah. And uh, uh, I, I, I put water out of the filter. I started again. It ran for 26 seconds. Then again, water in the filter. I unmounted now the filter and I still have water in the tank. I have now three bottles of water diesel mix next to the tank in the bilge. Yeah. Carrying around for the next halfway around the world. Yeah. Uh, I think if it's going to be more quiet here the next day because I got really shaken the last three days. It's quite, it's, it's clear yeah. that it's all mixed up in the tank. It might settle and I can get off the water more. Yeah. So it's working yeah. again. You've only got one tank of diesel? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So um, and it's all nice and new. Yeah. But uh, it's it, it, it's it's sadly been with many parts of this boat that, that uh, it's new, cool stuff, stupid in storage. <laughs> so okay, now to the serious stuff. You're halfway. You're heading home now. So how's that feel? Uh, that's good. <laughs> that's very good. I'm actually very happy yeah. that this, the earth has the size it has. Yeah. It doesn't need to be bigger, it's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good. also very good that it doesn't grow. Yeah. You know, like getting bigger and bigger as, as you're on the way would be stupid. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so talking about the world, did you see anything uh, bad or good or anything like that, you know, with environment and, and uh, animals and I birds? I actually have not seen bad things at all. Uh, you, yeah. you see a, a bit of stuff drifting, it's like pellets and... Uh, but it's not like this lots of stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's single stuff. I've seen a lot of whales actually. I had yeah. a family uh, kind of swimming next to me for over 10 days. They came back again and again every day. Yeah. For like two breaths. Wow. And <laughs> go down again and it was like two big and one small one. The small one was like the boat, kind of. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the seals are very funny, I think, when they, sw when they swim in the water, like belly up and the fins out of the water. So yeah, they're trying to warm up, they actually get their fins yeah. out to get the blood warm. And I've seen them kind of in the middle of the Indian, like yeah. far away from, from the islands. It's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And how are you feeling physically, like hands well, and feet and head and all that? To the <laughs> huh? hands so, so, so people actually, are always the interested hands in your hands. looked very good three days ago. Yeah? No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> not so bad actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. No, i'm super fucked up it's uh it was like two nights i had probably five hours sleep in the last two nights yeah yeah and an hour today in the afternoon uh very much uh adrenaline coming up here yeah getting close to shore i i, I was really close to the southeast cape and i had probably more than 40 knots there in the in the gusts yeah. And coming into the bay, I uh, took a large uh, yeah, we uh, saw you going distance out there. Uh, <laughs> around the corner because it wasn't up into that again. <laughs> <laughs> it al almost ripped off my, my stay sail, you know. I do like 35 knots steady with the stay sail and then I go for the for the storm chip. Yeah. yeah. Or I reef the stay sail. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was like... 
Excellent. Excellent. Michael, it's your first time in the Southern Ocean. How does it feel? Uh, very good. <laughs> it is in the same in the same way. It is very beautiful and very terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't stop, you know. It's, it's it's really crazy. It's a lot of motion and it never stops. You said in Cape Town you are super scared to to go into the Southern Ocean. You are happy to go and scared. At the end, it, no, it actually, I think I, I've done the proper training, I tell you. I've seen all this, what I've seen now in the Northern Atlantic already in winter. Mm. It was not, there was nothing really shocking. Mm. It, and uh, for, for, for the weather warning, you know, for the big system which I had, yeah. eight meters swell from southwest, beautiful. Mm. It's nice to look at, it's super nice to sail mm. on. Uh, the normally is the, sh I'm sorry, you know, that's the one thing on the over. That's probably two or three meters only, but it, it, it works really hard on the boat. When we were here in Hobart four years ago for the previous GGR, the skippers were super tired, suffering a lot in the boat from the humidity, from the loneliness, from all this long way. And you look kind of okay. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that because you are proud to be four in the race or or why you are not complaining? <laughs> well, the complaining does not make any sense, it doesn't make any difference if you complain, it just makes the day harder somehow. <laughs> uh, I think the guys last time had a lot worse weather than we had, mm. so they had a lot more work to do. Mm. Uh, and, uh, like, I mean, I'm lonely at times and uh, things get boring a bit, but uh, I, I prepared well. I'm, I'm still happy. What, what can I say? I'm happy to be like one of the six remaining guys or seven. How many are we now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, we have with us Yannick Moreau, who came here just to see you. You'll be the only one he'll see in all the GGR. Maybe he has a question. No, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Very happy for you. I'm here. very happy to share this special moment with you, to encourage you for the rest to Les Sables de Lon. Yeah. <laughs> it will be a big party, Michael, in Les Sables de Lon. I'll show you something, Yannick. It's, it's extra, extra for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look done! Yeah, pass, Look like done! Oh, Look done! Wow! wow. <laughs> I need to take a picture, do it again! <laughs> Okay, oh, too late, too okay. late, yeah. <laughs> too late. Okay, so um, so now it's uh, heading home and Cape Horn and all that sort of stuff. Are you excited? Are you sort of uh, apprehensive? Uh, you know, where's the emotion? Well, Cape Horn, of course, you know, a lot of stories. The fact it is, it was for me, uh, you know, I had some waypoints. We did some videos of waypoints, which I yeah. thought will be my kind of next goal stuff. Uh, it turned out that it's Sunday. You know, Sunday is new food box. Sunday is a new dot in my uh, chart 4000, which is the world. So I do yeah. every Sunday one point, how far I got. And it's kind of celebrating day and it's kind of working from Sunday to Sunday. And yeah. I do not work hard on Sunday, you know, I do a Sunday on Sunday. It's like a, a reef more than necessary. I do not uh, go out on deck during night and stuff. I, I give myself a Sunday on Sunday, like other people do. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> it's yeah. not always possible, of course, you know, if the boat needs something, I do it, is that, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, but you can, you can sail uh, uh, more active or more inactive. The Sunday is the inactive day. <laughs> yeah. and, and how's life down below? Like, is it still it's dry good. and cozy, or is it sort of getting? It gets you know, it gets a bit smelly. Yeah. But all the rest is fine. Yeah, yeah. And and um, no leaks or anything like that, or no. still pretty good. All good. Yeah. All good. Yep. You happy with the catch rig? Oh, well, you know, uh, uh, yes. Why not? I, I tell you, I I, I I thought a lot about it and. Uh, but the point is you have a lot more opportunities yeah. for the good and for the bad. Yeah. You can fuck it up easy because you have so many opportunities to fuck it up. <laughs> uh, but you can also be very, very good. I really have a thing that is that, that the Mizen has only one reef. Yeah. I'm going to sue another reef in when I'm here. 
Okay. Because uh, I, I tried a little in the in the big weeds. It's uh, if I just pull it out to the first baton and lash the baton to the boom. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like one square meter and stabilizes the ball really nicely. And I do not have a tri sail. Yeah. And uh, the cleats on my sail are not sealed higher, so my boom is always on the same level and it sticks in the water when the sea is high. Yeah. So I rather take the mizzen for strong winds. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's a lot wor more work, of course. It's uh, the work is less hard because it's all smaller. Yeah. So it's it's there. I think. Yeah. I think there. I think there are many many good things, many not so good things, and all in all, it's uh, it's it doesn't really matter. I yeah, see. yeah, yeah. And how's it, always interested to see how the sextant's holding up, you know? You want to see my sextant? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to see your sextant. <laughs> and then I have to show you something as well. Okay. There's always a story to a sextant, yeah. you know? <laughs> There's always something. There's so, a story. very important stuff, you know? And um, it's. Uh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. So. Um, Abolish was the classic, he had a, the, the cheapest plastic sectant. I forget, was it an Ebco or a Davis? Oh, we got the chart too. Chart number 4000. Oh, jeepers. The world, you know. <laughs> the world, yeah. <laughs> but it's blank. No, it's not, of oh, course. Oh, that's the inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Okay. I'll show you half the world. Yep. Yep. Okay. Can you see something? Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on. We need to. I'll put the the big light on here. One dot is one week. Hang on. Okay. There you go. Oh. Okay. One dot is one week. That's pretty cool. There's yeah. a few weeks there. Not <laughs> far to go. Yeah. <laughs> not far I, to go. I have not done the last one actually. Yeah. Oh oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, oh. Stay in the boat. But that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is uh, this is my Sunday chart, kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So you're quick gun with the sextant now. You can shoot them away really quick. The sights. Uh, yeah, it can get better and better. I trust myself. Yeah. That's the point. Or I know when not to trust. That's probably yeah. the point. That's a big one, eh? That's a full ship sextant. That one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Ooh, jeepers, it still looks like it's under warranty. Well, yes. That's looking good. <laughs> oh, my, I mean, it gets, it gets like from the sort. Yeah. I, I actually clean, 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 cleansed the glass yeah, yeah. and the mirror yeah. just most recently. Yeah. That's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Yeah. This one gets a little stucky. Yeah, yeah. From all the sort. Yeah. You haven't dropped it at all? Not yet, no. Not yet, no, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I always put it on the cockpit floor. So do you have a lanyard on it around your wrist? Say again? Do you have a lanyard on it around no. your wrist? Some people do. No? No. That's cool. No. I have yeah. it, uh, if I go out, uh, actually the last few times I always did it standing in the companion away. Yeah. And having all the paperwork down there because the wind and the high seas were too high to have yeah. anything in the cockpit. Yeah. Uh, that worked pretty well. And uh, when there was it was a sunny weather and it was kind of celebration doing a noon side, yep. I have it on the cockpit floor, so yep. it can't fall far. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so you're obviously enjoying the navigation. I do. Yeah. I think it's fantastic, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is fantastic. It's a lot of of trusting. You know, I actually almost did the same thing as Guy de Boer. Yeah. I was like uh, half a mile off offshore. And I thought I'm like 50 miles off. Ah, okay. when was that? When I hit Lanzarote. Ah. And I almost hit the northern part of Lanzarote and that was, that was kind of... Yeah, ooh. yeah, that's cool. Because I was searching for a light and I did a navigational error in terms of that I had uh, looked out for a light which I couldn't see where I was. Yeah. It's only visible from like north, northwest to southeast. Yeah. And I approached from the west. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the first arrow was that I did not look good enough into the chart and then I was sitting actually there and I see some lights and I think, think why do I see lights there shouldn't be any lights you know and I didn't react <laughs> and then I saw the the light which I actually was looking for and it was like half half a mile yeah five cameras maybe okay Hey, um, uh, then I didn't sleep for like two nights or so. <laughs> what's it? What's it like living with your bushy friend? 
With this one? Yeah. This one is going off? Eh? Yeah, the Pacific gets a new one. It's, it, it, that's, that, that's a, how, how many uh, weeks or months? There's a bit, this bit is more equator, than This is equator here. Eh? That's the equator. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you know. It's warm. It's lovely, I tell you. And it's <laughs> soft. <laughs> yeah. Can you keep a snack in there, you know, sort of breakfast or something? Yeah, or that's pretty? really the point, that, that it takes a lot of water to, to keep it kind of... Nice and easy. Yeah, it's okay. We're upwind. It's all right. And how do you with the water? Do you have enough? Uh, yes, yes and no. Yeah, I do. I have now 135 or so. My no, the water in the tank is contaminated. I lost like 150 liters or so. Oh really? In so you're boiling it, or you have to throw it, or you use it for washing, or whatever? I use it for washing and toothbrushing and stuff, but it's yeah. it's getting more and more salty. Uh, I'm going to kind of. Uh, seal both of the of the things when I'm here now. I just do them with with, with yeah. cigar or something, yeah. really mock them water tight. And uh, I may I might empty the tank kind of slowly, and as soon as it's empty, start to fill up again. Yeah. But then, yeah, I, I do still have 125 cans of lemon soda. Lemon soda, yeah. soft drink. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that's, that, that's right. another 30 liters of, to drink, yeah. you know, liquid. <laughs> <laughs> I do carry like seven bottles of red wine still uh, and two yeah. bottles of rosé wine. Uh, it's another 10 liter bar. liquid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's no, cool. That, I think it's, going, it's fine. It, the, the thing is that I've been told that it's not possible to collect water in the tropics and it's much easier down here and it's exactly the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the tropics are collected like 50 liters in an hour or in two hours or something, like one big square kind yeah. of filled up everything. Yeah. And down here it's like a drizzling and then you always have like six meter seas and a lot of wind. And yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. So what, what's, what's been the best part to date from, from the Sable alone to here? Oh. It's difficult. <laughs> so much good stuff. Huh? <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. It's I think you know. It's it's the whole thing. Yeah. There is not one best part somehow. Probably the animals. Animals. Seeing all these animals. Yeah. You know, again and again. But yeah. uh, it's a whole thing, S story somehow. Yeah. And and what are you looking forward to most now? Uh, like not back in, not to the today, sunshine. I mean. Oh, breakfast. Having yeah. having rounded Cape Four and get back to the Lesotho. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, the two the two things now. Yeah. 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 That's cool. All right. So, um, anything you're missing a lot besides people? <laughs> <laughs> They're in the boat, I know. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, probably. I brought myself like uh, 15 kilos of Canducci. Of what? Canducci. It's an oh, Italian yeah. bakery yeah, with yeah. Arm, almonds. And I ate them all already. <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's a real bummer. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. that's the only thing. The, all, all the rest is fine. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So, uh, and the chat sessions are going okay with everyone on the fleet? Have, yeah, it's, you know? it's kind of not so much chat sessions anymore, it's more one-by-one -one talks. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I can copy Kirsten now and she can copy me, yeah. so we have a daily chat. I do one with Abilash because Jeremy can copy Ian and, uh, and Elliot. Yeah. And uh, if I and, and I and Abelish cannot copy and, 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 <laughs> and think, so we start talking. Jeremy sits yeah. in the middle and has no clue about anything because yeah. everybody's talking. Yeah. So we well, he's just getting out a of bit. a blow at the moment. He's he's um, he's got got a good one coming through, but he should be okay. Who Abelish or, or Jeremy? Uh, no, Elliot. Oh, Elliot. Elliot had a little well, Jeremy got it. gets everything, I think. Huh? Yeah, he's been getting real <laughs> Southern Ocean for a long time. Not huge, but they're, they're solid. Yeah. 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 Well, I think you know. I think actually that the huge ones. I mean, it, it's it's a matter of how how quick the wind shifts are, of course. But I think that the, the huge ones are the easier ones. Yeah. Because these little bitey thingies, they make you really hard life. Yeah. I got flipped over twice, and it was always the small fuckers, you know. Flipped over? What do you mean? Oh, I like uh, last tip in the water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and it's always the normally. It's yeah. always this like three meters super sharp comes like this. 
yeah. and you can only take it right up from the stern or and everything else is not working really yeah did you, be, did you get to a point of towing warps or anything or no 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 let's roll with it i actually had my storm chip up for probably 20 hours so far yeah wow yeah because the boat is, cool. it's running nicely with that and i have a, a, a tie-in reef on the stay sail yeah and uh, that's kind of like the sail between the stay sail and the storm chip. The storm yeah. chip really needs 50 knots to pull the boat. Yeah. It's very small. Okay. Yep. That's all good. That's all good. So uh, we um, look forward to seeing your onboard footage. We, we, we've been running your onboard footage. People like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, been, uh, <laughs> uh, prob possible tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can organize to get it out of here somewhere. How long are you staying for? You got jobs I to do? Or you? I don't have jobs to do, but I'm going to sleep today and tomorrow here. Yeah. And uh, go out then. Yeah. Tomorrow is a southerly and southwesterly. It doesn't yeah. really make fun to go out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm going for two nights sleep. Yeah. And uh, I have some things I want to sue something on the mizzen and... Uh, but yeah. it's all not really necessary. Yeah, yeah, no problem. It okay. will be hard for you because you have restaurants just in few hundred meters there. You'll see them tomorrow morning. It's full of restaurants <laughs> and that way. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 sorry, I was thinking. It's, uh, <laughs> oh well, the whole the whole coming in is hard somehow. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really, really matter whether restaurants or not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's cool. All right. So, anything you want to say to your fans before we rock this down? My fans. Yeah, your fans. You got My a few. Fans. Oh, you better do something in, in German. Because you, you should get, do something in German. Absolutely, you should just do chatter or chatter away in German, or you know, if you guys want to ask something in German, or okay, because you got to, you know, we forgot about German. that. German. Hey, halbe Welt, oder? <laughs> <laughs> Einmal um, die, einmal um die halbe Welt zumindest ist schon, nicht? Ne? Es gibt ja diesen Sound, oder? Einmal um die ganze Welt. <lacht> die halbe haben wir schon. Ja, alles gut. Ich bin müde. Ich freue mich aufs Heimkommen. Ich freue mich aufs Heimfahren. Äh, schwierig, so dahin zu reden einfach, ne? <lacht> Ich habe gerade meinen dritten Ozean gekreuzt. How do you see this? If, is the northern and the southern Atlantic a separate ocean or is it one? Northern. In terms of ocean crossings. I say I have crossed three oceans. I've crossed the northern ocean, northern Atlantic, southern Atlantic and Indian. So I've done three out of six ocean crossings now. Yeah. Uh, so halfway. Achso, wir sind auf Deutsch, genau. <lacht> es ist, ist echt schwierig auf Deutsch reden, weil ich nur mal Englisch rede, oder? Es gibt, es ist alles auf Englisch, irgendwie. Da kommt, alles verlernt. Nein, verlernt nicht, aber es kommt irgendwie nicht. Ne? Wenn ich so anfange zum brabbeln, brabbel ich in Englisch daher. Nee, es ist cool, es ist eine, eine, eine nette Community innerhalb der Flotte, auch wenn sie sehr klein ist. Wir haben ein rechter Garde miteinander. Es wird jetzt auch mehr Nachrichten geben, weil es jetzt einen Funker gibt, der uns da unterstützt. Der ursuper ist Peter Moss. <lacht> He is the most funny guy ever. <lacht> He, der hat eine Funkantenne in Neuseeland stehen, mit der er über den ganzen Pazifik drüber schauen kann. Und, äh, und dann ist er so drauf, dass er, wenn er unterwegs ist, macht tägliche Sketches, Sketch, wo man hin kann und halt sagen kann, ich will das an den schicken und so. Und äh, dann fährt er aber nach Auckland und hat sein iPhone mit und ist remote verbunden mit seiner Funkanlage, die irgendwie auf der Südinsel steht. <lacht> und die Antenne, die irgendwie 40 Kilometer von seinem Haus weg steht, auf irgendeinem Berg oben und so. Ja, der ist ziemlich cool. Also es, es äh, geht ganz viel. Ich bin sehr stolz hier zu sein. Ich bin sehr stolz einer von sechs zu sein, die, die über sind. Äh, genau. Und jetzt geht es ums, geht's ums Heimfahren. Es wird schon lang. Es ist gut, dass die Erde so groß ist, wie sie groß ist und nicht größer. Sie muss nicht größer werden. Auch nicht expandiert. <lacht> Was? Nicht expandiert. Ja genau, auch nicht größer wird on the way. Ja, na, ich freue mich aufs Heimfahren. Die letzten drei Tage waren der Hammer irgendwie, weil irgendwie kein Wind und aber Mörderwelle, weil auf der Ostseite von der Insel war Wind, der die Urwelle um die, um die Ecke geschossen hat und dann ist halt immer dieser Südwestseil da und es war ein Heidengeschaukel und heute halt in der Früh hat es von 5 Knoten auf 40 Knoten aufbriest in drei Stunden und dann den ganzen Nachmittag dahin knattert, bis ich hier reinkommen bin. Und dementsprechend müde bin ich. Und deswegen werde ich auch hier Pause machen, ein paar Tage, äh, und dann nach Hause fahren. Bäume 
uns. Yeah. Yeah. <lacht> <lacht> Habt ihr auch so ein lustiges Gummiboot mit? Äh, wir haben ein kleineres. <lacht> noch kleiner? Nein, nein, wir wissen es noch nicht. Okay. <lacht> wir werden Möglichkeiten finden. Super, dass du zwei Tage da bist. Wir haben einen ganzen Fragenkatalog für dich. Sehr gut. Morgen machen wir Bad. Morgen machen wir Bad Friseur. Ach, super. Ja, alle, alle Versionen. Okay. Mit Rotzbremse und alles, was dazu gehört. 50 Shades of Beard. 50 Shades of Beard, ja. Yeah. I have the 50 Shades of Grey in the beard. Ja, yeah. yeah. nein, es kommt nichts mehr, glaube ich. Wir machen morgen noch ein Facebook Live und schicken das der Franzi oder so, oder? Ja. Yeah. Genau. That's it. Okay. Okay. All right. You need to go to bed. Can I read you a little bit in French? Uh, yes, yes. In, in one minute. Euh, on n'a pas trop parlé français parce qu'il parce qu était content, Michael Hugenberg, de, de rencontrer ses amis allemands, de parler à Don. Euh, donc, euh, pour résumer un peu ce qu'il qu vient de nous dire, il est, il est toujours content. Il, est, il nous dit qu'il est content, moi je pense qu'il a un peu de mal, qu'il se cache un peu aussi derrière cette bière et la bonne humeur et, et la joie. Je pense qu'il... Je pense qu'il s'ennuie aussi un peu. Euh, il, a pas, il a eu des tempêtes, pas des très grosses. Il, il nous disait que c'est comme dans le golfe de Gascogne. Pour l'instant, il n'a pas eu, lui en tout cas, il a été épargné. Euh, il est heureux, je pense. Il est fier d'être ici. Mais en même, temps, en même temps, je le sens un peu différent de Lanzarote et de Cap Town. Le, le temps paraît un peu plus long. Voilà, c'est mon sentiment personnel. Mais il est là, il est bien. Le bateau va bien. Il ne lui reste plus de gâteau italien à bord. Mais pour le reste, tout va bien. Il a perdu l'eau euh, qui a été contaminée. Il a utilisé pour se laver etc il espère récupérer de l'eau et il va s'arrêter ici de nuit pour dormir et pour éviter le, le, vent, euh, le vent du sud euh, qui va souffler et qui va qu'il va avoir de face euh, donc peut-être reviendrons nous pour lui poser quelques questions avec le dinghy avec don dans quelques peut-être demain ou peut-être après demain voilà c'était tout pour michael guggenberg ici à Hobart à la moitié de sa course et après avoir fait 400 océans je ne sais même plus on se retrouve très bientôt Peut-être peut pour le prochain. Merci. Ok. Do you agree? Ok. okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. So now it's simple hello in uh, American, goodbye. And English, goodbye. And Australian, see you, mate. <laughs> Bugger off. <laughs> All right. Romanian, la revedere. Yeah, any other takers? No? That's it. Chinese. Okay. Ciao. Come to Mark Vida. Yeah. <laughs>